Okay, in this session we're going to be talking about compound interest. A compound interest is where you put money into the bank and you leave it there for a period of a couple of years. And over those years, the money that you make is compounded. What that means is, is that, let's say you have um, £4,500. And a typical exam question would go along the lines of, um, somebody, Joe, has £4,500. They're going to put it in the bank for three years. And they're going to get paid 4% compound interest, or 4% per annum compound. Okay. So that doesn't mean that at the end of three years, they're going to have 4% of £4,500. £4,500. It means that at the end of the first year, they've got 4% of £4,500. And then after the second year, they've got a little bit more. And after the third year, they've got a little bit more. And a typical question will go along the lines of how much money is there in the bank account at the end of three years. Now, there's actually two ways in which you can do this. You can use a formula, and that's in one of the next videos. Or you can uh, do it as a table. If you can't quite remember the formula, let's do it as a table is absolutely fine. And the way that works out is, is you'd say that you've got two columns. You've got starting, and then you've got amount uh, end. Okay. So the first year, uh, Joe starts with four and a half thousand pounds. So he starts with four thousand five hundred. And then at the end of the first year, he's got 4,500 plus 4% 4 of 4,500. So his total amount is 4%, which is 4 over 100, of 4,500, okay, plus 4,500. So his total amount at the end of the first year, if you calculate that through, is £180 plus £4,500. So at the end of the first year, Joe now has got £4,680. So he begins the second year with £4,680. And then at the end of the second year, he's got 4% of £4,680 plus £4,680. So at the end of the second year, he's got £187.20 plus £4,680 at the end of the second year. So in other words, he begins the third year with £4,680 and £67.20, and at the end of the third year, he'll have 4% of 4,867 pounds 20, plus 4,867 pounds 20. And if you calculate that through, at the end of the third year, or the beginning of the fourth year, he's going to have in his bank account, £5,061.89. And that would be the answer to your question. And what it means is, is that you can work out compound interest by using just the standard table and working it out, starting at 4500 working out the percentage interest, adding it to the original amount, taking that amount that's, that's been created, putting it into the first column, working out the 4%, and so on, and so on, and so on. And you can work it out for any number of years if you want. And it's a very useful way of answering a GCSE, usually round about a grade B question. And this is probably going to be worth about three marks, something like that. So it's about grade B and probably three marks. Now, there is another way of doing it. And the other way of doing it is to use a formula. And if you look at one of the next videos, or the next videos in this series, then it will show you how to use the formula. But it doesn't matter which way you do it, providing at the end of the day you have a nice logical progression. I hope that's okay.